Yep, it's that time. It's that time for me to show you builds that are just truly scary to play against in Shinobi Striker. These are the kinds of builds that will make the sweatiest players in your lobby think twice about fighting you. So I'm going to be showing you the best builds for each class in Shinobi Striker. And trust me when I say this, with these builds in your arsenal, you are going to become one deadly motherfucker to deal with, man. <clears throat> so first up is the attack class. So this is what I think is the best attack build in Shinobi Strike. Bro, I am telling you, I am not playing around in this video, man. I would like to call this build the Ultra Instinct build. So obviously for the first Jutsu, we've got the Sharingan. I'm telling you, once you activate this, you literally turn into Goku, who has mastered Ultra Instinct. Like nothing in the game will damage you. You'll be dodging Taijutsu attacks, you'll be dodging Ninjutsu attacks, you'll be dodging Ultimates, you'll be dodging Substitutions. Heck. You'll even be dodging attacks that you don't even see coming, bro. It's like you have eyes at the back of your head. There's been multiple scenarios where I'd be focused on fighting one single player. And then suddenly, a random attack just comes my way. And the next thing you know, I just automatically dodge it with my Sharingan. Like, bro, this shit is just beyond broken. And with the Sharingan activated, I'm literally out here dodging tailed beast bombs like it's nothing. Okay, okay, okay. This Jutsu is 100% an S tier Jutsu. Next up, we've got the Flying Raijin. Wherever you place the Kunai in the arena, you're always teleport back to that kunai. With this jutsu in my hands, it's like I've got the instant transmission man. I honestly feel like I'm a super saiyan, I can't lie. With this jutsu, you can get away from taijutsu attacks, you can get away from ninjutsu attacks, you can even get away from substitutions, and if you notice an ultimate coming your way, you can literally just get the fuck out of there man. There was literally a situation where I was trapped in an opponent's ultimate, and this guy was probably thinking, but I was like, nope, nope. Bro, there's just no way, man. There's no way. Bro, this Jutsu needs to be nerfed immediately. When I have the Sharingan and the Flying Raijin in my arsenal, I'm almost impossible to kill. Now, for the substitution, we're going to be using the Shadow Clone Explosion Jutsu. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This shit is just so toxic, you don't understand. These players were probably thinking, are we playing against a terrorist or what? Every single time that I sub out from an attack from the opponent, a Shadow Clone appears right next to them and it just explodes. Yo, this is toxic. And on top of that, I've got the Sharingan as well. So every time that I dodge an attack with the Sharingan, a Shadow Clone appears right next to the opponent and it explodes again. Yo, I honestly felt sorry for the players I played against with this substitution because they did not catch a break whatsoever, man. And for the weapon, make sure you have these claws, man. The way I dominate these players with these claws is just unbelievable. You need these claws. If you don't have it, just use the normal claws and you're all good, bro. And these are the skills I'm going to be using on my gear. For the ninja tool, make sure you use the flash medicine. When you use this, it reduces your ninjutsu and your substitution cooldown time. Can you honestly believe that shit? What? Oh, this is just too OP. And not only that, this recovers your health, increases your action speed, and your attack tracking speed. So you'll be able to move so quickly towards your opponents, man. Your opponents will not be able to track you whatsoever. And then for the ultimate, we've got the Planetary Devastation. Once you use this, you'll drag multiple enemies into your ultimate. So you will not just kill one opponent, but multiple opponents with this ultimate. Oh, nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm done, I'm done. This this build is unrivaled. That, that's enough, that's enough. So yeah, that was the best attack build. And now it is time for me to show you guys what is undeniably the best range build. So this is what I think is the best range build in Shinobi Striker. Once you hit the opponent with both of these Jutsus, it's game over. I'm not gonna lie, all you need to do is just literally spam these Jutsus completely and everybody around you will just shit their pants. Because both the Inferno Star Flame Lightning and the Fire Star Majestic Destroyer Flame both produce continuous damage onto their opponents. And what makes this build truly scary is that the Fire Star Majestic Destroyer Flame, it's like you're launching a spirit bomb at the opponent the amount of damage this jutsu does is insane and not to mention the inferno star flame lightning reduces the enemy's defense so they're prone to receive a lot more damage than normal you'll be surprised man you'll be playing with a lot of bots where you would hit them with the inferno star flame lightning and after you hit them they just stand there like are you saying g are you all right 
Why would you just stand there when you're receiving burn damage? It doesn't make sense. Instead of you to run away so you don't receive any more damage, just stand there waiting to get hit. Bro thought he could tank that attack like Broly. It, it, it just baffles me, bro. These are the kind of players that I've never seen this build before or they're just drunk as fuck. And these are the skills I'm going to be using on my gear. So for the substitution, we're going to be using a time space hop. This is really good because like once you use this substitution, it reduces your ninjutsu cooldown time. And like if you don't attack anybody, you won't be able to get hit by ninjutsu ultimates taijutsu attack so this is really a top tier substitution now for the weapon i'm using the ninja uchiha blade like honestly you can use any weapon you want it does not really matter and for the ninja tool i'm going to be using the normal senbon and surprisingly this does a shit ton of damage after you hit them with the inferno style flame lightning so for the ultimate we're going to be using the wind style sea dragon if you see an absolute no life out using this build and they're using this ultimate as well you better pray to god that you don't get caught in this ultimate ultimate because if you do you are done for this ultimate will literally pull multiple enemies in a titanic tornado and if they get caught up in this they will take serious damage and not only that if all the opponents that are caught up in the tornado are not on 100 percent hp you can potentially kill all the opponents that's in that tornado by just spamming your jutsus just use a fireball jutsu spam your kunais and you can potentially knock out four opponents in the arena with that ultimate bro this is absolutely spectacular and please don't use this ultimate whilst you're weak because you will most likely just waste your ultimate so yeah that's the best range build and uh now it's time for me to show you guys the best defense build in shinobi striker yep this build is honestly a cheat code it's an actual cheat code let's start off with the susano armor once you use this no jutsu will hurt you nothing nothing will touch you nothing will damage you whatsoever like you can just hit an opponent carefree like you don't need to give a shit about anything else because nothing will hit you anyway oh my lord i just realized the black rods from the sukunahi kona can damage you even when you're using the susano armor this shit does not make sense in my brain like my brain can't understand this at all so for the second juice we're going to be using the celestial air slice type zero and let me just say this if you want to steal kills and trigger your opponent so hard make sure you use this jutsu man the amount of times i've gotten my kills stolen by this jutsu is just insane there has been so many situations where i would make a player weak and then one random idiot just uses this jutsu and just steals my kill and i can't even get close to the jutsu because if i do i'll just get caught up in a combo like it's just the dumbest shit i've seen man if you ever see an opponent that's weak just spam this jutsu and you're just guaranteed the kill 100 percent and then for the ninja tool we're going to be using the sukunahi kona black staff whenever you use this it just moves so quickly the opponent can't even react man they just stand there and just accept the hit man they can't do nothing about it like what's the point of adding a ninja tool where you can't even see it when it's like coming towards you like isn't that cheating it doesn't make sense and when you hit the opponent with this they literally stagger to the ground like they, they're stunned for a bit so you can literally like do a combo after you hit them with the black rods and not only that this ninja tool breaks guards as well so this is a top tier ninja tool to use 100 percent for the weapon i'm going to be using the adam adamantin noyoi enra like come on what kind of name is that but if you don't have this weapon just use the normal long sword and don't be an absolute low iq player and just spam triangle for the whole game like that just takes no skill it doesn't take any skill whatsoever now for the substitutes we're going to be using the yomotsu harisaka <laughs> what is what are these names bro but when you use the substitution you literally like move around the arena whilst you're in a separate dimension which is just so op so like when you use the substitution you can't get hit by ninjutsu um taijutsu attacks ultimates so it's kind of like the time space hop but it's a bit more op and these are the skills i'm going to be using on my gear and then for the ultimate Nani? hey boy ain't no fucking way boy jesus oh no 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 i don't know how this ultimate is in the game this ultimate should be banned completely g nah 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 there's no way there's no way you can literally spam this ultimate like a ninjutsu like there's been multiple games where I would use this ultimate three times in a single game, bro. If I'm lucky, even four times, bro. And this ultimate, what makes this ultimate a different breed? It literally one-shots the opponent. Let's say the opponent's on 90% HP, they're getting one-shot. Or if the opponent is even on 100 HP, 
once you hit them with this ultimate, they're pretty much dead, man. They're on 1 HP, and all you need to do is just hit them with the kunai, and it's GG's. Literally, all the bang outs that sweat this game 14 hours a day literally use this ultimate. This is in their main build, so if I was you, I would do the same thing, bro, if you're planning on being a defense kind of player. So yeah, this is what I think is the best defense build. Now, for the finale, it is time for me to showcase the best healer build in Shinobi Striker. I'm not gonna lie bro, if I see a sweat using this build and I'm not using my main attack build, I might have to close the application, I can't lie because this build is just way too toxic, it's unbelievable. Like what can you actually do against this build? Like let's say you get hit by the Chakra Scalpel, you can't use your ninjutsu, you can't use your ultimate, you can't even Chakra Jump, you're just like a sitting duck just waiting to get slayed, you can't do shit. And then you've got the heavy boulder jutsu, once you get hit by that, it's like you're stuck in a pile of shit, you can't even move you can't even move whatsoever like what can you do bro once you get hit by both of these juices it's game over for you it's literally wraps like you're dead you're dead at that point you're literally dead so if you use this build in game bro i'm telling you you'll make players run away from you they don't want the smoke if you're using this build they do not want it they will just run away for the entire game because this build is just it's too difficult to handle man not only does a heavy boulder reduce the movement speed of your opponents it can also boost your own defense as well, which is kind of overpowered, I can't lie. And then for the substitution, make sure you guys are using the multi shadow clone jutsu. This will make sure you're literally a pain in the ass to fight against, bro. Because the multi shadow clone jutsu gives you not one, but two substitution jutsus to use. So you can sub out twice in game. And then you will have to wait for your substitution jutsu to recover so you can sub out twice again. And then for the ultimate, we've got the M N O Minaka. What is going on here? What are these names? But but anyway, this ultimate is by far the best ultimate in the healer class, man, in my opinion. Because once you trap multiple enemies in this ultimate, there's a high chance you can just eradicate all the enemies in that dimension, I'm telling you. Send the opponents into the ice dimension and just spam triangle and square. That's all you need to do. And you'll just get three kills. Just spam triangle in order to trap the opponents into an ice cube. And then once they're trapped, just spam the living shit out of square so you can just throw an insane amount of ice shards at them and they'll just get deleted from the game one by one and these are the skills i'm going to be using on my gear so for the ninja so i'm going to be using the healer seal tag if you have a brain you would use this because <laughs> in your build you have no juices or ultimates that will give you like health yeah yes the um the ultimate would give you health but you can only use that ultimate once and you need heals throughout the game so make sure you use the healing seal is absolutely paramount and for the weapon i'm going to be using a crimson spear the scientific ninja tool so like it doesn't really matter what weapon you use just use any one and uh you'll be gucci and yeah that's pretty much it man i know these builds are really toxic but these builds are honestly the best in the game man if you want to completely shit on your opponents definitely use these builds and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace